Good morning, Trade as well. We've got more central bank action to dominate the news flow this week after a pretty exciting week last week with the FOMC and ECB. The decisions are done now. Uh, coming up this week, we've got the Bank of England, uh, Swiss National Bank with their monetary policy meetings uh, and a slew of Fed speakers as well, which should keep markets interesting. Uh, from the US, US will get off to a quiet start. It is a holiday on Monday. Um, after last week's uh, fireworks, the FOMC decision with this hawkish pause or skip as the market likes to call it. Um, though Chairman Powell did water down some of that hawkishness in, with a dovish presser. Uh, this week there's a, a real um, a gaggle, I guess you'd say, of uh, Fed governors and Bullard and Mester Barkin, Goolsby all speaking during the week. Uh, the main event though will be Jerome Powell on Wednesday uh, testifying in front of the Senate banking panel. Uh, US dollar the, had a, a very poor week last week on the back of the FOMC. Um, it's, it's worst week since January. So it's, the dollar index holding around that 102 minus support. So whether it can hold that or not, uh, a lot of that will be decided this week from these Fed speakers. Uh, UK, Bank of England, set to hike, but will they push back against market hawkishness? Uh, there's been real hot inflation and wage data coming out of the UK lately. So the market is pricing in a, a terminal rate around 6%, which is six hikes higher, 625 basis points hikes higher from where we are now. So um, Thursday's meeting is definitely 100% priced in for a 25. There is a little bit extra, so possible 50. 25 looks the most likely um, though. And the, the big question will be is, uh, does the pound US has hit 14 month highs? Will um, the Bank of England push back against that hawkishness or will they uh, let the market continue to think they're gonna be as aggressive as being priced in currently? You'd think that the pound probably will get in a bit tied to the upside with all this hawkish pricing, uh, unless the Bank of England really uh, goes with it. If out of Switzerland, the Swiss National Bank is set to release their policy on Thursday as well. 25 is fully priced in, there's about a 50-50 shot for a, a, a supersized 50 hike. Um, it's pretty benign inflation in, in Switzerland, around 2.2% uh, by uh, international standards anyway, but uh, still above their target band. And there's been some pretty hawkish rhetoric out of uh, SNB members recently, and they are coming from a fairly low base as well, uh, only 1.5% uh, at the moment. So um, it'll be interesting to see how they come out. The, the, Euro, the Swiss franc did have a, a pretty poor week last week, but that could certainly reverse with, with a 50 basis points hike. So. Frank watchers are definitely be watching that announcement. Um, out of Australia, the RBA minutes. Uh, so after another surprise hike at their last meeting, uh, it's two in a row where they've got markets on the wrong side. The meeting minutes will be released on Tuesday. So I think trading desks will be really pouring over that to try to get a bit of, a bit of color in, in the decision making there. Um, there's a 53% chance of another hike next month out of the RBA. So I'd expect those odds to fluctuate quite a lot between then and now. Um, Tuesday's minutes certainly will play a part of that. So the, the Aussie dollar just had a, had a great week last week, smashing through that 68 US cents resistance, which had been the top of its range. Um, quite often resistance flips to support. So we'll see how the Aussie plays out this week, but those minutes on Tuesday will, will certainly play a big part in that.